Hey everybody, my name is Kid and welcome back for another video of Star Wars Movie Duels. We're back for Red Boys for a couple of videos and stuff like that. Not a lot to do really recently since I can't play Forgotten City. I actually finished Forgot City, uh, Forgotten City as I'm talking. Uh, I couldn't finish it on video obviously because the developers did not want me to finish it on video. They wanted me to stop at the wide hallway, which is what I did. So in the meantime, I gotta figure out some filler stuff. Uh, to play for you guys uh, as a second game, uh, second game on the side, and I figured why not come back to movie duels because there has been a lot of updates to it. As you can see, brand new uh, logo, brand new way of doing things. That's been a while. I'm not sure if it was like that last time, but uh, let's go jump into new game, and I want to show you really quick all the things that are new. They've got obviously the extras are basically the same thing as always. They haven't changed. Uh, arena is the brand new stuff which is basically like challenge except it's just a bunch of randomized characters or randomized villains sifts or whatever and you get to fight them and there's more and more of them every time it's like a it it, it really is like a tournament type of thing and it's really fun it's a fun thing to do so we'll definitely do that in one of those videos uh today though however i, I do want to show you for the maps themselves they did add uh recently a lot of new maps uh, they modified the whole thing and stuff like that. Camino, a bunch of new maps and stuff like that. So you can see all the maps. They added Megiddo, which is really cool. Uh, they also had it over here. Uh, the aftermath, the landing platform, all these good stuff, boys. Training room, uh, a bunch of new maps that are really, really fun. Mandalore, uh, we've got all of this. Star Destroyer, Command Bridge. All of this, uh, even the Death Star and the Force on Leash, it's now there, boys. So it's really good. Space, World Between World, boys. Uh, Jedi. So you can see there's a lot of options. Uh, so you really have a lot of rooms. It's starting to look a lot more like uh, like Caltef by the day, boys. So it's really awesome. And uh, with that, we've got also a bunch of new characters. If we just jump on it, I do want to show it to you guys really quick. So... Let's just uh, jump on in really quick. Uh, say we want to go for Bespin. Uh, say I want to go for Bespin, by the way. So Bespin has two choices. You can go for the Carbon Freezing Chamber, which is just that area in general. Or you can go for Cloud City, which has the entire Cloud City thing, uh, basically. Which is the best thing to go for. So we're going to go here. We're going to take a, pay a little visit, uh, a little bit around really quick while we uh, switch to characters from characters to characters I'll show you guys uh, really who is new uh, as a character and stuff like that so you guys can um, figure it all out as you can see it's gonna be really fantastic I, I love this game so much uh, I play it from time to time um, I really love the fact that movie duels is just upgrading more and more and they uh, some of the characters they added is, is such a great thing boys so you're definitely going to hear my uh, keyboard, obviously, because it's a mechanical keyboard. So uh, let's see. As you can see, here, there's a lot of options right here. Look around. You can go around. Take, it can take elevators. Uh, you're basically in the entire uh, place right here. This is this is Cloud City right here. This is fantastic, boys. Now, some doors are gonna, not going to be open, but there's some that are open, as you can see. Now, this is Katie taking the eleva elevator. I don't know if that's going to take us to the actual uh, uh, room right here. Where is it taking us? Uh, uh, to outside, see? So now we're outside, actually. So uh, we're actually outside. Let me show you really quick uh, the, the people that they added. So obviously, they changed it up a little bit. They got rid of some characters and they added uh, proper ones. So we got all of this. If you go into Yoda, for example... He's got the Clone Wars style Yoda, uh, 2003. He's also got the High Republic Yoda from the books. Uh, they've got uh, ghosts. So they also added the ghost. Even for Mace Windu, he has his own ghosts. So you can see all of that, basically. If you switch it up, they're all there. Uh, we've got Qui-Gon. We've got all of these. Now, obviously, uh, these they, they don't really have that much of a change. If I change for... Uh, uh, shock T, she doesn't really have too much, but uh, we do have all of these obviously. They also have this guy they added uh, Clone Trooper if you go into it, you got multiple options even the Asuka, uh, the Ahsoka Clone Trooper uh, uh, troops uh, Towards the end of the Clone Wars and stuff, which is very cool 
Uh, for the Jedi, you gotta go in there and you gotta all sorts of things. You even have uh, the character that's been created after Star Wars Theory himself. Uh, it's basically him. It's got this force over and everything, so it's fantastic on this side. Uh, if we go in there, we've got all these characters, of course, like always, not as much. We They add some Separatist leaders and there, here and there. Uh, for the next part, Clone Wars style, of course, it was already there before. And uh, we, uh, but they do, they did have something though, because uh, they do have the 2003 style for Anakin and for uh, Obi Wan, just like they had for, uh, I, I guess they had for uh, Yoda. Uh, they do have it for Mace Windu as well now, which is really good. Uh, let me see really quick. Oh, they have, they don't have it for other characters though, so for everyone. Okay, that's okay. Uh, so if we go back here for Ahsoka. We have the season 3 to season 5, the regular Ahsoka. And we have the most recent one version version of one, her, which is season 7, basically. So we got uh, that version as well. So you can see a lot of stuff. Uh, Clone Wars style. We even have Mulder Talzin now. We have uh, these uh, bounty hunters. We got Dirge, uh, Cad Bane, Ondo, and uh, Hembo. So that's really good. Uh, they did add uh, this version of Darth Maul for the staff, double-bladed staff. Over here, as you can see, we obviously have the same options aside from we have uh, Ghost to be one now. So all sorts of good options. I wonder, Lando. Okay, so he only has these. Okay, good. And we also have Cal Kestis, So they did add uh, Cal Kestis to Game Boys. Uh, if we go into Rebels right here. Now you want to be careful. Because they're all these troopers, they're really fun, already right, fine, you can spawn them. If you do Pespin Cop, it's actually, gonna, that's probably a glitch or something, they probably gotta fix that somehow. Because Bespin, Bespin Cop is actually not what it shows you on the thing, it actually just spawns a regular Jedi. Uh, as if he was a Jedi from the New uh, Republic or something like that, so that's what it spawns, boys. We got Bell Organa, of course. Uh, we got all of these once you start to the Empire. We got all these options. If you go into there, all these different options and stuff. Um, obviously, uh, Vader always had the same thing over here. Uh, we got all these stuff. Um, Palpatine has the Force Unleashed version and the Episode 6 version. We got Greedo, all of this. We got the Second Sister and the Purge Troopers. We also have for the Rebels. We got all of this, of course. We even had Rex. They did add uh, Rex to the game uh, right here. So that's really good. They added Tron as well. Next up, we've got for the sequels, we're not going to really talk about it because it's not canon for me. But over here, it's really fa fun because they did have Din Djarin. Uh, they added him. They added uh, Cara Dune as well. The Rupak uh, Sentry, Dark Troopers. So they added some Mandalorian stuff, which is really good. Still uh, waiting for them to add Baby Yoda, but what we're gonna, what are, we, what we read, what would we do with him? I don't, I'm not sure, boys. So next up, Star Wars Legends. We got all these characters, of course. Uh, they're basically the same, mostly. So that's not big of a change right here. Uh, over here we got Star Killer, of course. Uh, they did have Shakti for the Force on, uh, Unleashed version, and Kento Marek. So they added him. Uh, we've got all the others basically the same. They did add though Darth Revan and Bastilla Shan, boy. So Revan and Sh Bastilla Shan are both added to the game, which a better, even better addition. So you can see Revan as a Jedi, dual sabers, Darth Revan, or just Darth Revan regular. If we go Revan as a Jedi, look at that, boys. If I switch characters, you can hear him talk and stuff. It's fantastic. I love it, boys, so much. I mean. I love the look. I love the fact that you can actually play as these guys. So, and now we're going back into that. Uh, they also had it. Now, if you go into there, you go NPC commands. You can uh, definitely do a lot more options here. You can choose NPC follow. Who does he follow? Light side, dark side. You choose his health bar, his armor, NPC or undying, invincible, whatever you want. Script, which is fantastic. What does he do when he's on pain? When he's wounded? When he's on? Uh, when he's dead? What what type of action does he take? Right. So what type of? Uh, how does he? Uh, he's gonna interact when he's dead. Uh, so that's really cool. On victory, on C. So uh, C detecting another enemy. So that's how they they do stuff. 
NPHT action, it's basically a taunt that they do over and over again. Uh, we've got the NPC force, so you can maximize the powers. You can choose saber defense. You can choose what level you want it to be. These stuff are really fantastic. You can choose, you can add weapons towards them, lightsabers and stuff. So it's really, really cool, boys. They added a bunch of uh, different stuff, which is fantastic. You can even see right here, uh, join solo, a uh, team solo. So it's really fantastic. Join team neutral. I can't join anybody. They're really good. Music wise, they've got a lot of different musics, Revan's theme. Uh, all sorts of teams, uh, different teams here. So very good indeed, boys. Now for the most part, the next part, because uh, we are going to exit because we don't want to deal with that. Or actually, I, I did want to show you guys. That's right. Let's, uh, let's continue to go forward a little bit. We're going to continue to move, discover the city. We're not going to do the missions in this one. Uh, I kind of wanted to just show you guys the, the maps themselves. So... There's a, there's a statue of Lendo right here. I didn't even know he had a statue. That's crazy. That's down to the ne needy greedy of the de details right there, boys. Didn't even know he had a statue. All right, so we can't go there. We're going to end up doing is just... I'm going to equi uh, equip no clip really quick. Okay, so I can't go there. Uh, I'm going to equip no clip. Oh, there we go. You can see there. there's the chamber right here, boys. So we can go to the chamber. Um, how do we get in there? If we go in there... Okay, so we're just in the chamber, I guess, right now. So, as you can see right here in the chamber, we've got all these little details right here. Now, if we go into there, if we follow, which I think this is where they fought. I think this is probably where they fought. We're probably on the other side. If we follow the road, we go right here, boys. So, I'm, I'm just going to unequip it really quick. And we're going to start moving. We're going to start moving. And you, you're going to see what I'm talking about. So let's start using uh, force speed though, just to be a, a bit faster. I uh, said so we're going the wrong side. Okay, so there's a there's a path to take where which is the movie path that they took. So I'm not too sure which one it is, uh, but uh, we'll see really quick. Is that the way? I think it is. I think it is the way. Actually, it's not. What's this? So I'm gonna try and figure it out really quick. Oh, uh, there it is, boys. So you jump down there like Luke did. You go into here. And then you go into this place. There we go. And now we enter this place. And we keep moving. Now you don't realize. Because Luke. Uh, it basically it was a transition. But you don't realize. Uh, that, but it's very far away. It's a long ass tunnel. This tunnel is really long. So he, he literally walked for a long time boys. In suspension of what would happen next. So I think he went there. I'm not sh sure. Oh, yeah, he went there because it's the only one that opens. Went there. Went right here. And all of a sudden, boom. Gets attacked by Vader right here or something like that, I think. Or uh, actually, can I uh, get the elevator? Or oh, the elevator is down there. So let me use it really quick, boys. We're going to... Oh, never mind. Come back. Just wait for the elevator to work. We're just going to have time as if uh, the elevator was working. And there we go. All right. So now, no clip again. There we go. And now we're entering this. Man, that was a long run right there. Oh, there it is. And that's where he encounters uh, Vader and stuff like that. They start fighting. He starts throwing these shits at him. This shit break, breaks. Boom. This shit breaks, boys. Uh, big time. What the fuck? Holy shit, boys. Hold on now. I just jumped big time. This exact, this did exactly like the movie, basically. The whole thing, like the the hair pressure, put me back toward, uh, pulled me back towards the the outside, which is crazy. Holy shit! Now, no, normally they fight here. They ended up right here, boys. Hold on. Let's get it right there, and they fight all the way down uh, here, boys. So there we go. That's where they fight, and uh, they ended up right uh, there. So. Look at that, boys. So there it is. It's fantastic. I really love. I really love the way they they made the maps and stuff like that. I could go more in detail with other maps. Uh, I kind of want to show you really quick the other maps, other ones that are really in in detail and stuff. I don't care about the sequel ones, but uh, maps that are really in detail. Uh, so there's two other maps I want to show you for sure. Now, Space Station, really good one. 
But the other one that's really cool is Mandalore, of course. So uh, we're going to go daytime on Mandalore, I guess. Let's go daytime on Mandalore. And I'll show you really quick what I'm talking about uh, detail-wise. Now, I'm pretty sure we can't go outside because this is the door, right? I think... Uh, oh, we can. So you can go outside. Look at that. You can literally go outside the palace and stuff like that. Now, this is as far as you can go. But you can go outside and inside. You can do whatever you want. Now, where's the door? There it is. That's the throne room right there. That's the throne room right there. I believe earlier on they had a door right here. But I'm not sure if it's the case anymore. I don't think it's the case anymore. So I think it's just the throne. And you can go outside for a bit. But that's about it. So you can't go uh, on the other one. Okay. All right then. Well, uh, I don't think that was supposed to happen, boys. But okay. I guess I went under the map right here. I guess there's a like a, a glitch or something. You can go through the wall. That's not good. But you get you see the point. The real one I want to show you though. Well, I want to show two other ones to you. Space World Between Worlds and uh, the Death Star. Now, Force Unleashed Death Star. I want to show it to you first off. All right, first thing I'm going to show you. We go here. Usually we fight uh, Vader and stuff like that. I'm actually going to put my character in there. Why not? Uh, I'm actually, you know what? Uh, let's choose uh, Cal Kestis. Why not? Let's choose him, boys. We're going to have him with a staff and stuff like that. Uh, he can actually... He doesn't have the staff in this for some reason, but there we go. So we got that. We go into there. We fight. We push him back. We go in there. So you can create a whole scenario. You fight Vader yourself or something. Now, normally you push back right here. Well, they already had it. Palpatine. You don't even have to have him. He's already there with his royal guards, boys. Waiting for you. He's actually going to attack you. He attacks you for real. Now, I am going to cheat a little bit, boys. Just because he does do, do a lot of damage. He does a lot of damage. So if you go here... It's already set up. The scenario is already set up. He's already going to attack you. Look at that. Already attacks you and stuff. So it's already as if you were fighting him and stuff. Which is very good. It's really fantastic. Now, you got to be careful because he pushes you like crazy. It's, look at that, how far he pushes you and stuff. Super strong. Holy shit. He's even... Yeah, holy... He's just demolishing me right now. Holy fuck. This is why I... Um, I needed to use my uh, abilities and stuff, but there we go. He's dead, just like that. Boom. There goes the Emperor, boys. We killed him. But, as you can see, it's really well made. And now you can fight them. Now, the problem is they don't uh, spawn with lightsabers and stuff. So, that's the unfortunate pa uh, part right here. But, it's okay. I mean, aside from that, I mean, it's, it's really fun to just, uh, to just see everything, boys. To just look at everything right there. This game is so fun. And the fact that they went this far away. Uh, it's fantastic. Now the last thing I want to show you. Space. World between world. Now this is a next level type of shit right there boys. Look at that. Just like rebels right. World between worlds. Every portal leads you to a new place. Now obviously it doesn't lead you to that time or whatever. Because it's not that highly developed. But you can see all the different choices. You can go from, you can go on top right there. You can go there. You teleport back. You can choose a different portal, whichever portal you want to choose. Now, I'm not sure which one is that. That's probably where we come from. Whatever that comes from, uh, we are from. Uh, let me just use force abilities really quick. Goes for speed. See, uh, you can see how far we are. So, I'm not sure where is that, when is that? I mean, normally you would see the, um... The logo with and stuff. Well, you only see the logo normally in the in the real thing in Rebels and stuff. You would see images and stuff of when it is, but um, I don't. I'm not entirely sure what is what. But this is world between worlds, boys. The time travel stuff. Uh, interesting. So if you go into this portal, for example, let's go into this portal. Go into this portal, boys, and just like that, we just got spawned. Boom. Oh, shit. We just keep spawning back, though. Boom. We just enter back right here. So this is where it leads us at, boys. So you can see 
uh, how it leads us. It's a fantastic map. It kind of trippy a little bit. If you fall down, you're going to fall down and hop back in. So you can't really kill the, uh, your enemies by making them fall down. They're going to just come back up right here. It's like an inverted. As you can see, we're upside down kind of. So it's really trippy, but it's a fantastic map. So I really love it. Now, last thing I wanted to show you, as you can see, when you load the game, where that's the main menu and stuff, you can see all the stuff. You can see uh, all the good uh, logos. It's so well made. I mean, look at that. The production behind that game, boys. It's a whole different game. It's a whole different guy, kind of game as genre. And it's, it's just really a different thing, a different experience. I mean, look at that. You can't tell me that is, that's not good, man. So that's really good. Uh, you also, they added this. So you can actually play Jedi Outcasts and you can play Jedi Academy afterwards. So you can play both of them uh, side by side, including if you have this game, if you have this mod on, boys. Uh, coming soon, they are going to add another game. Uh, I'm not sure which one it's going to be, though. Maybe the, uh, Outcast 2 or something. But that's really cool. We got obviously the challenge, dual maps, missions. So this is what I'm going to show you really quick. Uh, the missions they added. Uh, they pretty much have the same missions for all of them. So that's pretty much all the same. Uh, really no, not much of a big difference right here, boys. Uh, they did have some few tweaks here and there. Friendship of Flames, all of this. So you got all these uh, little options right here, I guess. Uh, over here, you have Darth Vader's Redemption. Coming soon, it says. It's going to be uh, the... Uh, this fight right here between Ahsoka and Season 7 and uh, Darth Maul. They are going to add the final battle between Obi-Wan and uh, Darth Maul in Tatooine. And there's the regular one which was in the books. Uh, it's already there. Uh, over here, Force Unleash. They did add something over there, boys. So there's Starkiller Last Trial, of course. Forgotten Heritage. They uh, added it to it, I guess, for the temple. The Rescuing the Rebels mission, the final uh, mission of Force Unleashed. And there's Wrath of the Empire, the DLCs, boys. What if you took the bad side? Unfortunately, they didn't add the other mission, which was in Tatooine beforehand, right? Uh, defeat, uh, Defeating Boba and defeating, um, basically, uh, Obi-Wan would have been a great one to add as well. But they decided to add instead the final one, which was uh, to fight in off against... Um, Luke, which we are going to do for the next uh, video, boys. We're going to do these missions. So, uh, Luke is in there. They also had their first missions over here. So, A New Hope, they added this one. Obi-Wan's Last Stand. So, you can fight either as Obi-Wan or, uh, or Vader, uh, boys. So, two different options right here. So, we do have a mission for uh, Episode 4. We don't have anything yet. It's coming soon for Empire Strikes Back. Uh, for Return of the Jedi, it's coming soon as well. They don't have that. Uh, Kao TF does have it. I think that's where I went. I showed it to you probably, boys, in Kao TF. Force Awakens, they're going to add some stuff, right, for the sequels as uh, as well and all. Uh, they're going to add stuff, but uh, uh, not for that any time longer. But you can see how good it is, how good it looks and everything. And this game... Really fantastic. So I definitely recommend this mod for you boys. You can play with this mod. You can play two other games for free basically. So I mean download this mod. Just get it. I mean you would already have Jedi Academy because you need the game for the mod. But uh, you would get a free game in Jedi Outcast. So you know it's so much stuff to do with this game. And uh, I'll do uh, the new stuff in the next video. So remember to be like and subscribe if you did enjoy this review or come back to it. And uh, keep it easy, boys.